Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be having an anime figure review today, since I picked up some epic anime figures. First, we got a display figure, All Might. Nice. And some vintage 90s Beyblade. I don't know any of these characters as well as I used to when I watched the cartoon. So, if I'm bad with their names, leave me a comment on them. First on the list, we got the female, the first blader. She is the girl from the opposite team. But yeah, she is definitely cute and she wears cat ears on her head when she bay blades. So she's a cutie for sure. Definitely going to be part of my anime collection if I do say so myself. No articulation, but really well painted and sculpted on these figures. I'd give them thumbs up on looking pretty cool. Next, we got the main character of the... U.S. Beyblade team, I forget his name, but it's been a while since I've watched the show, so don't judge. <laughs> Here's one I do remember, it's Ray, and he's from Japan, and he's on the U.S. team, why not? And he's really well sculpted, just like his other figures are really well sculpted and painted, nice. Next, we got another U.S. Blader. I forget his name, too, but he's really well sculpted and painted. Even the hair, the eyes, everything on these figures are really good. Oh, stupid tripod stand. Wanted to fall down and have to tighten the thing, which is always a thing. Now we're going to open up this All Might figure. And you're probably wondering where I got this from. I got this for free in my neighborhood in White Oak because people... Get rid of a lot of toys. So I always get some free toys out of it. We got a really well sculpted and painted All Might. He doesn't have our, any articulation, but the paint and sculpt on this is very, very cool and nice. Look forward to adding this to my Hero Academia collection for sure. But now we're going to dig out his little... This little, the little piece that holds him up. You see what he looks like being held up? And now he is displayed like he's charging at the enemy with lust with his hands out. Like he's going to beat down some villains. And not a bad figure knowing I got this for free. And there's no paint wear on it. So it's brand new in the package and never opened until I opened it. Love this figure. I look forward to adding more like this to my collection. And where I got the Beyblade action figures from the 90s, I got them from the Monroeville Exchange. If you saw my toy haul yesterday, then you know exactly where I got them. And I paid about 3 bucks each, so... 12 bucks in total with action figures. And not a bad little anime video, if I do say so myself. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Before we move on, we're going to show off next week's review. Reviews next week. We're going to do G1 Bone Crusher next week, along with the Dollar Tree Knockoff Transformers, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee. So stay tuned for next week's reviews. They're going to be awesome. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed shooting it. 
and I had a lot of fun showing off these epic toys to you. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.